Hi everyone, welcome to another screencast about uh, Renewed Visions ProPresenter 5. So before, I've shown you how to make these pre-service loops, and if you haven't seen that, uh, just it's in the same playlist, so it's no biggie to go and watch that. So, someone was asking, well, what about if you want to use one of these slides in announcement? time so this is great for before service or after service but what about when the uh, when the youth minister or the worship pastor or whoever is announcing things wouldn't you want to put up a slide yes you would want to put up a slide that's going to increase retention and get more people to show up at the appropriate event and so you might think, well, no problem, I will just click on, let's say they're talking about Easterfest up here, I'll just click on the Easterfest slide. But you'll see that if you're, uh, if the person doing the announcements takes longer than seven seconds to do it, uh-oh, it auto-advances. So how do you solve that problem while not messing up your loop? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. First, let me show you the way that I tend to do it which is I will go down here to new document and I'm gonna call that something that makes sense to me in this case uh, announcements and then click uh, either hit enter or click new I hit enter that time now you'll see that I just get a single black slide now that slide is transparent so um, it should be the case that if I had a background video playing and I clicked on it, that wouldn't affect it. Although if it was a foreground element like this, it would. So if I click on that, you'll see that it goes black. So that's not what I want. So let me show you the way that I would do this, and then I'll show you an alternate way. So I'm going to go into my finder here, and... Oh yeah, I've already got that minimized over here. So I need to select all these. The one way to do that is to click and drag over all of them. Another way is to click the first one, hold down shift on your keyboard and click the last one. Either way will work, just whatever you prefer. Now you're gonna drag those over into this document. Now you might be tempted to drag it here but if you do that the first item in this case breathe 2014 slide dash bg dot jpeg is going to be the background so we don't want to do that we want to make each one of these into its own slide so that's what this teal bar means it means hey I'm gonna put in new slides after this point so I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna minimize that to get it out of the way and when I do that and by the way, I don't need this black slide, so let me, I'm going to do command and then right click and delete. That would do it. That would delete it without any dialogue. If I just click delete, it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete this? Or I could um, hold down command to select it. It should turn this bluish purple color and then continue to hold command and press the delete which is on a Mac at least where the backspace key is on Windows not the other delete key if you're using a, a full-size keyboard so you do that and then it goes away no problem so let's go back to let's uh, first drag this into the playlist and then I'm gonna save everything because that brownish color meant that it wasn't saved the orange brown so on the loop you'll notice that these are exactly the same except and by the way if you're watching this uh, standard definition you really want to watch this full resolution so that you can see these little clock icons and the foreground uh, icon over here because those really do play an important part so that tells me that this is the loop even if I wasn't paying attention up here and 
now I'm in the announcements and you'll notice while they're all foregrounds none of them have the little clock because I haven't added to that I would have to right click and click on go to next timer to do that and I do not want to do that instead I want to just leave this as it is and um, le since I'm leaving it as it is any one of these that I click on will stay up as long as I want it to so that is in stark contrast to the loop down here where when I click on this then it auto advances after well I set mine for seven seconds maybe you want to do five seconds ten seconds whatever you think is appropriate I would say between five and ten seconds is long enough any longer and people will quit paying attention any shorter and they won't be able to get all the information so between five and ten seconds I think seven is a good kind of compromise between those two so difference between the loop and this announcements is the timer now the guy who asked me this question said ah, I don't know that I want to make it redundant like that okay so you remember how I clicked and then drug in here we don't have to do it that way we can add these as foregrounds by clicking the import media plus side down here and remember you do want to do this as foregrounds not backgrounds because if you do it as a background that doesn't override the timer on the slide it just says oh I want to change the background on this particular slide that's not so much good so what we'll do is we will um, click and drag or again click and then shift click to select all of them and click open and once I do this it'll take it just a second to import all those down here so if I'm on my loop here I'll start that going I'm on my loop down here I'm going to get rid of this um, oh, actually that okay I'm gonna remove that document from the playlist leaving this up here okay so now we're advancing through these So as we're advancing through these, um, in order to override this, I can just click any one of those. So Easterfest is next, so I'm going to go down to Breathe right here. And as I do that, this Breathe slide, which has the big Awaken thing here, overrides this playlist. So I don't have to have a separate item here. So if at any time the pastor comes up and starts talking or let's say even you're in the middle of worship and the worship pastor says oh by the way while I'm playing and you're thinking that we're gonna be singing again I do want to remind everyone uh, ladies register for the women's retreat then you can click on uh, your slide here or say don't forget to get a um, a CD of the service CD or DVD that are available in the bookstore you can click that and override it and you can do that at any time so that is kind of a valuable trick and it saves you from adding another item in your playlist or I just try and duplicate my rundown my order as much as possible so that's why I do it the other way but either way should work fine if you enjoy this and uh, the other ProPresenter 5 screencasts that I've created, please subscribe to them. It's free uh, in YouTube or if you're on trinitydigitalmedia.com, there is a uh, video podcast subscription link that you can subscribe to and you can get them delivered automatically every time that I create a new video. And that's free and that's something that I would recommend that you do absolutely if you have any questions or comments head over to 
trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact and you'll find all my contact information including my email address paul at trinitydigitalmedia.com or my voicemail number one eight seven seven pod echo that's one eight seven 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 six three three two four six either way and you can interact at that time so I hope that that helps you and I hope it helps your church go out and change eternity. Till next time, I'm Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.